What do you say to someone whose life is falling apart? If you have just a few precious minutes with a person who has lost a job, a home, a spouse, a child, or all sense of purpose, what comfort can you give? In most cases, we try to comfort a crisis by saying, God will never give you more than what you can handle. Which sounds really good, but it's not accurate. As a matter of fact, you just promised something that the Bible never does. So if the Bible doesn't make this promise, where did we get it from? And I think it's a misunderstanding of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, where Paul says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Now we love this verse, and it's a great verse, it's a powerful verse, but this verse doesn't say anything about our problems in life. It says something about temptation, but not our trials. It says something about sin, but not suffering. So I think the text teaches that God may limit the amount of temptation so that you can bear it, but he doesn't seem to limit the trial. And let me tell you why. Because if God will never give me more than what I can handle, that means that I have what it takes, and I can bear whatever comes my way. It tells me that God permits trials according to my ability. In other words, it points me inward. When our strength is failing, the answer is not within, it's up. We don't have what it takes. The psalmist asked the question, where does my help come from? And we must have the confidence to say that my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Listen to Paul. We don't want you to be uninformed, brothers, about the hardship we suffered in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we even despaired life. Indeed, our hearts, we felt the sentence of death, and then he provides a crucial insight into his despair, that this happened so that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God. God will give you more than what you can handle, but it's so that his great power might be on display in your life. Suffering does not get the last line in the script. God does. On the screen now are two videos that will help you better understand trials and what the Bible teaches about God's role in suffering. Watch those next. Hey, this has been Jeremy Skinner, 10 Minutes of Truth, thanking you for sticking around to the very end. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. God bless.